pretty simple to get off. Just take one of the prongs. Hey guys, Stevie here, how's everyone going? Well, you would have seen a video I put up oh, probably a few weeks ago about not being able to get out and go camping because of all the rain. Well, it poured rain all day on uh, Friday, all day on Saturday, uh, a bit of localised flooding around. So it was good we didn't go camping, but uh, it meant that cook up I was talking about, the one that I would have had to do at home. Sunday, uh, a couple of days later after that, probably not Sunday where you are now watching this or when I've loaded it, but uh, I'm gonna get that cook up done and it's gonna be with this beautiful bit of pork uh, loin roast here. You can see it there, nice little round shape. Um, what I've done is, I've tied it up a little bit stronger. Good thing about this little roast, I don't know whether the camera will pick it up, it's come all pre-scored. So all I've had to do is roll it, dried it. Um, got a bit of Pit Brothers pork rub there and uh, some Himalayan salt. So I'm gonna um, salt this all up. Plenty of salt because you want the crackling really good. And uh, She's a little bit uh, damp, this salt, from all the wet weather, but hopefully we can uh, get it to uh, come out really good and uh, salt up. I'll tell you what, you sort of, when it's really dry, you wish it rained, and when it's raining, you wish it was dry, you can't win. But uh, it's good to see the rain around. Uh, all the grass is nice and green. The weeds are growing really well in my yard, so I have to get out and uh, sort them out, but uh, while I'm uh, letting this sort of sit away and uh, I'm gonna just leave it out of the fridge for a while and uh, I'll stick it in the microwave there and uh, just let it sit in there so nothing can get on it, but I'll um, go outside and uh, get all the coals going. So we'll head out there in a minute and uh, check all that out and like I said, I'm going to use, there's not a lot of salt coming out here, don't, there it is, um, it's just bloody the end of the salt shaker, I think the salt's a little bit wet and there's not a lot coming out so I'll just do a bit in my hand here and for a couple of seconds and show you, like you can see how much salt's coming out of that little uh, bit of, but it doesn't hurt to have a fair bit of salt on the outside of your pork roast so that it, uh, crackles up really well and I'll put a bit of that uh, Pit Brothers pork rub on. I won't put a lot of that on now, I'll do that as I'm cooking it. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is mix it up in a mixture, uh, basting brush with a bit of oil and stuff like that and uh, baste it on as we're cooking the roast up. So I'll show you that when we're doing it. But like I said, I'm going to put this in the microwave now. Going to head outside, we'll have the camera out there, we'll light the coals up, uh, show you the flogger again or the Topeki uh, Snow Peak fires around. I think it's gonna be really good for cooking up a roast like this, because it's gonna direct, like I said in my previous video, if you would have watched it, um, it draws the air in through the vents in the side, it super heats the air inside it, and then puts it back down into the fire, which makes the heat rise, and uh, should direct the heat right around this roast and cook it a heaps better, so just than having it just over the fire pit normally. So hoping it's gonna really work. So we'll head outside now, eh guys? And we'll have a look at the uh, lighting the coals up and getting the fire pit all ready. Cheers guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Really helps my channel out. And uh, I hope you enjoy the cook up. Okay guys, we're outside now. Got my little uh, uni flame charcoal starter here. These are fantastic. Now I've bought this uh, Samba Lump charcoal, um, it's much like the Pit Brothers charcoal. I got it, for, got it from uh, Bunnings yesterday, so it's only tiny stuff. So I'm gonna pour some of that in there. Gonna try to pour some in there. I think I got half of that in there. Doesn't matter, we'll pick her up. Pick her over in the bottom of the fire pit here because That'll light up later on. It's a wonder uh, Winnie hasn't been down on the ground here picking it up. Now I've also got the Samba wood wall uh, fire lighters. You would have seen these once, but I love these things. 
heaps are better than those uh, ones you break up. They're like a, a little wool mixed. So just going to use those. Don't need a lot of them. Now I've got to go get a lighter. So I'll quickly go get that and we'll come back. Got the trusty lighter. So I'll just light these up. These light up uh, really good. And we'll sit that back down there again. So we'll let that sit on there oh, at least for 30 minutes or so till the smoke sort of stops coming out of it. Because once the smoke stops coming out, you know they're sort of light, lit up and they're lighting. They always smoke when you first light them up. But uh, once I get them going, I'll show you pouring them in and I'll give you a look around the spit, show you the flogger, get the meat on there and start cooking. Cheers, guys. Okay guys, just back inside now. The coals have been on for about 30 minutes. I just went out and checked them. They're really glowing red hot in the bottom there. So it's time to get the meat on the spit. Now I'm going to be using the uh, Oz Spit today. Another great Aussie product. I have a previous video out. I'll put a link up there to show you the video. So if you want to go back and have a bit of a look at that, tell you all about the Oz Spit. But uh, if you do see those little links come up on the screen, I don't know whether you've ever noticed them on any other video, so I didn't find out about it till the other day. But uh, you'll see a little uh, sign come up with a little uh, click mark. If you click on those, if you're watching it on a mobile device or something, um, you can actually go straight to a video off another video and check that out. So, But I will leave a link in the description as well. So we'll just grab the pork roast out of the microwave here, nice and safe in there away from the flies and uh, we'll get it uh, stabbed, eh? So, got to be really careful of the point on the hospits. I actually did cut myself once. Um, so, roughly just find the middle of the roast and you'll find it'll go through pretty easy and that's come out pretty well in the middle. Now, I've loaded the spike. I've already been out and set this up on the Oz pit over the fire pit and got the exact distance I need to have this back prong so that the piece of meat is in the middle of the um, fire. So if you do that, that's a just a little tip there and uh, pretty easy, isn't it? These are fantastic, these things. I, I was really hoping to do this uh, video while we're out camping because this is you know, really good camping food. Um, you can do this with beef, lamb, pork, whatever, whatever meat you like. Um, but uh, just a matter of putting the other one on now and getting those prongs to go into it. You gotta try and squeeze, hold your tongue the right way. And then uh, push those prongs into the meat. They don't have to go in all the way as long as they're in a little bit. But that's basically it now. So all I'm gonna do now is uh, put a tiny bit of this rub on just a little bit not a lot just a tiny bit because I'll like I said I'm gonna baste it with it when we um, are cooking with it but I might just put a little bit on these pit brother products are absolutely awesome another Aussie company um, I'll get my oil out ready now just a tiny bit more salt because the salt that was on it with the moisture has dragged all the moisture out. And um, a little bit more on there will help it uh, crackle up bloody beautifully. So just going to put a bit into my hand there. And uh, pat that on there as well. So we'll head outside now and we'll get this on the spit, eh? Cheers guys. Coals are really nice and hot now. Like I said, you can see there that there's no smoke coming out and I can actually see the flames coming out at the top of the coals there. So it's just a matter of pouring them in there, just like that and setting that aside. Now I'll just uh, spread those out a little bit. And on cue, I think it's just starting to rain. 
but uh, you can add more coals in here if needed but I can already feel the heat coming out of that now I'm just going to put on the uh, tapiki or flogger you can see how that just sits straight over the top of that fire pit now that's going to direct the heat up here where you want it and not so much out the side here so now I'll just grab the meat off the assistant over here wasn't Winnie, she wanted to. She's sitting there looking at me, saying, why aren't I having that? So we just got to poke this through here. Put the uh, motor on. Like that. Spin that back around. Now, I might just raise that up a fraction actually, because there's a fair bit of heat coming out of there. Move that out of the road. Turn her on, and that's it. All I gotta do now is grab a beer, let this do its job. I reckon that's gonna heat up really well there. I can feel the heat coming out of the top there. Um, like I said, I can throw more coals in there. I'm even um, thinking about, Ian's got a um, beef roast in there. I've got another gadget in the Ospit there. I'm thinking about putting it under here as well and uh, maybe cooking the roast. It's just a little tiny uh, bit of beef, I think it is, or lamb, and uh, cooking that on the side there. So we'll have a look at that as we're going, eh? Cheers, guys. We'll show you a bit of footage of it uh, cooking away there. I might leave the camera on time lapse. And uh, once we get closer to the end, we'll show you a little bit more. Very simple cook up if you're camping. Um, all you need is a bit of meat. This runs off batteries. Have your fire pit with you, a bit of charcoal, and away you go. Cheers, guys. Okay, guys, I've thrown a bit more charcoal on there just to heat it up a little bit more. Um, and also, you might notice over the side there, I've thrown a bit of uh, lamb on there, a bit of rosemary and that on it. So we're going to cook that over the side there as well as the pork. Annie doesn't like pork, but I absolutely love it. But uh, it's just a bit of butterfly uh, leg of, oh, a bit of lamb that we got. But also what I forgot, I bought these Samba smoking chips. Um, just bought those the other day at Woolies as well. And uh, you've got to put them in some water for about half an hour. So I'll put them in a little jug of water and uh, just make sure you read the instructions. So I'll just pour the water out over here. So I got rid of the water and you just throw these in the fire there and they'll uh, slowly dry out and start burning and uh, should put a nice uh, smoky flavour in the meat there that's cooking. So just something else to try but uh bloody pork's looking beautiful i'll do a bit of b-roll and stick up on the screen there and uh, show you that as well but uh really looking forward to trying this i think it's working out fantastic the uh snow peak flogger really directs the heat up and uh, stops the wind it's really windy out here like i said camping at home and uh started raining there a second ago but uh Really looking forward to showing you the final product. So cheers guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, queries or comments, leave them down below and uh, I'll get back to you. Cheers. Go for it. Okay guys, I think mine's already done. So I'm gonna take it off now. I'll just give you a quick look at it. So that's it there. Looks bloody beautiful. You can hear the tap test. Nice and uh, crunchy, so bloody come up good gonna take it off before it dries out too much so we'll get that off now and we'll show you what it looks like inside all plated up cheers guys Winnie, get out of it. okay guys we're back inside now brought it in can't wait to cut it up hear that beautiful and crunchy on top so gonna get it all cut up um, get it all plated up then I'll show you what it looks like but uh, can't wait to show you, can't wait to taste it. So we'll get into it, eh? Cheers. Okay, guys, I've got it all carved up. It's absolutely beautiful. Just in case you're wondering, we did do a bit of uh, lamb roast, like I said, for Annie. 
it come up beautiful crunched up beautifully pork's absolutely fantastic i have had a sneaky bit look at that down there restaurant quality meals at home or camping i would have loved to have done this camping we would have done the potatoes in the camp oven and we would have done the roast over the fire pit like that but uh had to do it at home and i'll tell you what listen to this that crack on is absolutely beautiful so the snow peak flogger or tapiki fire pit surround it's absolutely blowing a gale it was raining while i was cooking it was blowing a gale but the heat got directed up into the meat so if you're really looking for a great product check out uh, tom's outdoors they may be able to get you one but absolutely fantastic i'm going to, to go try this now so thanks very much guys and stay safe look after each other and i'll see you on the next one cheers one other thing or two other things just a little bit of apple sauce that I forgot to put on there. And if you're wondering where someone's been the whole time, she's been sitting down here wondering what's dad doing. So she might get a bit of a sneaky bite of that uh, lamb. So bye from us both. See you guys. <laughs>